Hi, I'm Mara Jazor, Sahan Journal's Membership Manager. Here at our headquarters in St. Paul, it's a pleasure working with our reporters who provide a nuanced picture of what it means to be Minnesotan. Let me show you what it's like being a Sahan Journal reporter. My name is Caitlin Vu. I go by she, her, hers, and I'm the housing reporter for the Sahan Journal. Now I'm working on a story that's focused on a Minneapolis ordinance that prohibits landlords from discriminating against Section 8 voucher users. We worked on an election guide that has already came out as this video gets out, but it's the first interactive story that we've done as a Han, so check it out. A big story that I've been working on is about why certain immigrant communities in Minnesota have distrust in the tap water here and choose to drink bottled water instead and why some dental professionals are concerned about that. I'm working on... <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> I love our mission, I love our people, um, and I love that we have a voice to underrepresented communities and really, really focus on the community-driven mission. I've been able to focus on communities of color and immigrants, and as part of that community, I feel really supported being here. I feel like I get to work on really unique stories at Sahan. We are covering things that are not always represented in mainstream media and that often leads to stories about really creative people, people who are helping the community and are not often covered. So there you have it. If you follow our stories, we hope you'll take a moment to support us during our year-end drive. Right now, your gift is doubled thanks to four community funders who have committed $53,000 to all gifts to Sahan Journal through December 31. We really hope you'll join us. Thanks for reading us. Um, we really appreciate it. Please continue to read us and let us know what other stories we haven't touched on that you would like us to focus on and what else we can do for you at Sahan Journal.